Mo's looking rough. Hi guys. So today's video, sorry, I'm just like adjusting. I have so much crap in front of me right now. Um, today's video is going to be a chit chat. Get ready with me. I have a ton of new products to use. And that's what we're going to do. I took a poll on Twitter. That sounds like so official. I took a poll. Um, the poll is still happening as I'm filming this. But from the jump, it looked like the Chit Chat Get Ready With Me was winning over empties. So I'm pretty sure that's what's going to win. So I'm filming this first. Then I'm going to film the empties later today. So they will both be going up. This one's going up first. Anyway, this is irrelevant. So, like I said, I have a ton of new stuff to try out. I just did my brows. Oh my god, they were so bad. They were so bad. I don't know how I let them get that bad. But I fixed them. Anyway, I have my windows open, so if you guys hear cars going by, or people screaming, or people mowing their lawn. My neighbors are obsessed with mowing their lawn. They do it, like, every other day. There's nothing to cut. Anyway, um, okay, Beauty Blender is here. I already put on my Tarte Marine, what is this, Marine Boosting Mist, and my Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm, and I'm going to put on some Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. I know that's a little excessive, but I have it, so why not use it? I feel like I haven't done one of these videos in so long. I used to film these all the time, and then I kind of... I don't know, I kind of stopped. So we are overdue. For foundation, I'm going to use my uh, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 310. And I'm going to mix in just a tiny bit of my It Cosmetics uh, <laughs> Bye Bye Redness. I used to use this all the time and then I kind of stopped using it. But it's like super, super pigmented. Like, I mean, so pigmented. You, you, you need like the tiniest drop of this. I mean, I I don't think I own anything. This is even more pigmented than the Cover FX custom cover drops. So I'm just gonna take like 90% of this and then just a tiny bit of the It Cosmetics. Okay, Beauty Blender. I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender today. Oh, this hair. So what's up guys? What's new? It's Thursday, it's almost the weekend. This weekend is going to be gorgeous. We're supposed to have like the best weather. I'm so excited. I'll be cutting my grass because gotta keep up with the neighbors. So I put a picture on Instagram yesterday and it was um, a bunch of like dusty pink makeup products. And I had so many people ask me to do like a series, like a color series. I think that would be a good idea. What do you guys think? Like, I could start with the dusty pinks, because that's, like, my obsession right now. And it's all because of Benefit Dandelion, which I'm going to use in this video. Oh, I just love it so much. Um, but I think that's, like, a good idea. I might do that for summertime. I want to get the Makeup Mayhem videos done. And then maybe move into that as, like, my summer series. I think that would be cool. Um, for concealer... I don't think I have a new concealer to use either, but I'll use something different than my Urban Decay because I use that one all the time. Um, I can use my Stila one. We haven't used that one in a while. This is the Stila Aqua Glow in light to medium. I like this one, but I hate the applicator because I get it everywhere and I always end up squeezing out too much product. You know what? I want to use a corrector. So I'm going to use my It Cosmetics one because I haven't used this one in a while. This is the Bye Bye Under Eye Corrector in Light. I used to love this. I like the NYX one better. It's like more orangey, peachy toned. See, this one's just like concealer toned. But it does cover up. It just doesn't work as good as the NYX one. Oh god, this is so stressful. I know I should just put it on my hand, but I like living on the edge. <laughs> Somebody just started their mower. See, I'm not playing, you guys. Neighbors are crazy. 
to set it, I'm going to use my Bye Bye Pores from It Cosmetics, and I'm going to use the Morphe E53 brush. I love this powder. It's so good. It's just so light, and it, it like, just erases your pores. I don't know how, but it does. Okay, brows. Finally, we're going to try out the ColourPop brow pencils. I tried the one just like messing around one day, but I've been waiting to use them in a dang video. Okay, Bangin' Brunette. So with these guys, once you twist it up, you cannot twist it back down. So be careful. These are really, really um, like creamy and very, very pigmented. So get some crazy brows if you're not careful. Oh goodness, I'm kind of nervous. <whistles> Sorry. Oh, see how pigmented that is. Baby. Baby. Ooh. Yeah, that is um ooh, that's an arch. Holy shit. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> this is not good. I hate doing my brows on camera. I hate it so bad because I always jack them up. So on my eyes, I think I'm going to use this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea palette. Look how cute. It's so cute. Um, this is just like neutral shades, but I really, really love this. I've used it a few times and it's really good. The shades are very blendable. They all work together really well. So we're just going to do a neutral eye and then I'll do a bright lip. Okay, I actually think I'm going to use this shade in the crease. It's picking up really dark on camera. This is in the smoke palette. So let's try this guy out. I need a brush. Okay, I'm using an E40 from Sigma. Ooh, that is pigmented. And a little bit powdery. Kat Von D shadows tend to be a little bit powdery though. Let's get those guys out of the way. Okay, should I zoom you guys? I'm like all over the place right now. I don't want to go too high up. Oh yeah, that's nice. It's blending pretty well. Yeah, that's good. I know it's not like you can't see it that well, but it's blending out pretty well. Sweating. Let me get this sweater off. Okay, next I'm going to take, you know what, I have some new Essence shadows we can also try out on the lid. Which one should we try? Maybe we'll try this one. This one's in the shade The Grammy Goes Glammy. And that's what it looks like. It's really pretty. So I'm just going to put this on my lid and then darken up the outer edge. I know, it's it's just what I like, I'm sorry. When I do the super bright fun look, that one's different, so don't kill me. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this shade on my finger. Look at that, it's really pretty. And just put this on my lid. Oh, this is really soft. This shadow is like $2. It's really pretty. And then I'm going to take, I want to use this shade, this like really pretty like rusty brown. And I'm going to use this Morphe E17. All of my brushes are dirty. I really need to wash them. And I'm going to put this on the outer edge. So I'm going to like take it up into the crease. And then I just take 
my big fluffy brush and just blend out the edges. I'm gonna take a little pencil brush from BH and I'm gonna go into this darker shade just to add a little bit more depth. I love when people say that, just wanna add some depth. It sounds so like fancy. I'm gonna put that right in the crease. I just want to take a little bit more of that like rusty brown shade just a little bit more down here on my lid so I get most of it on the outer edge and then I just pull it inward and it almost gives like an ombre effect I think that's good And then on my lower lash line, I'm going to take that same brown shade that we used on the lid or on the outer part of the lid and I'm going to grab a pencil brush and I'm going to put this on my lower lash line. This matches really well with that ColourPop liner. And then on my inner corner, what do I want to use? I think I'm going to use my, oh wait, I have something. I want to use one of these Love Luxe Beauty highlighters. They're so freaking gorgeous. But which one do I want to use? I think I'm going to use this one. This one is in the shade, oh, this is Enchanted. This is like my favorite one. It's so pretty. So I'm going to grab a little tiny E21 brush, sorry, from Sigma this little guy, and I'm gonna put that on my inner corner. It has this like gold hint. I'll pull it on the lower lash line too. I should have put this on my lid. This color is so pretty. I feel like I want something different on my lid. I'm just not loving that essence shadow which is kind of shocking because I thought I was going to. Um, should I take the shade that I put on my inner corner? I think I'm going to, that Enchanted shade. I want to put this on my lid. Do you guys think it's going to work? Oh, let's try. You never know unless you try. And then I'm just going to take my blending brush and just blend this line oh yeah that's pretty let's do a little wing I'm just gonna use black eyeshadow um, makeup geek corrupt is my favorite ugh, my favorite black shadow so I'm just gonna use that I like to do my wing with eyeshadow I've told you guys this before I know that might sound a little bit odd but it's just what I like to do. I'll try to show you guys what I do. I don't know how well it's going to work on camera because usually I'm like all up in the mirror. But I just do it like as if you were using liquid liner, but I do it with shadow and I don't connect it. I kind of just like fade it into my lid. Let me try to show you. So I do the regular little flick, like the line from your lower lash line up. And then I pull it down. But I pull it to my crease. So I go from the line down to my crease and I just like fade it in to my crease. I know that's kind of weird, but it looks really cool. And then I kind of fill it in. And that's pretty much it. So it just like fades into my lid. 
and I kind of have to mess around with it and like blend a little bit. I don't do this all the time because it really does like deepen up your crease and make things a little bit more dramatic. But hey, that's okay. Okay, Lash Princess from Essence. If you guys have not tried this mascara, you need it. It is amazing. Okay, lashes. I'm going to be wearing New Bouncem Serengeti. Oh, I almost threw them right out of the pack. I love, 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 love these lashes. I cut them. You can't see it because of the way they're sitting there, but these are actually two and these are two. They look so pretty. I love these lashes. And I do have a code for New Bouncem. Um, it's YWP. I always have it in the description box. Shake it, shake it, shake it like a ball or a pizza. Shake it. Okay, lashes are on, so we're going to let them dry. And I'm going to finish my lower lash line. So now that I have lashes on, I feel like it needs to be a little bit more smoky. So I'm going to go back into my little Tarte guy with my, what is this called? Um, oh my god, a pencil brush. And I'm going to take that darker brown and we're just going to smoke this out a little bit. Just make it a little bit darker. And I just want to deepen up this very outer edge of my lower lash line. It just adds a little bit more of that like cat eye effect. Okay. On my brow bone, I am going to take um I just totally drew a blank. I'm going to take Nylon from MAC. Wow, you guys. I totally was just in another universe for like 15 seconds. And I'm going to put that on my brow bone. And this is a Sophie 315 brush. This is the You Sculpted palette from It Cosmetics. It's really pretty. I have not tried it yet. I just got it in the mail yesterday. So let's do some contour. I'm gonna use this Morphe E48 brush to contour. I still haven't found like a holy grail contour brush. And I'm going to use the deep shade. I may regret it, but we're gonna try. Oh my God, that's really, ah, that's really pigmented. I'm gonna be careful. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, I'll go back and blend. Just let me get the base the base down. I really like this palette. The shades are so easy to work with. And then I'm gonna take a fluffier brush. This is a clover brush. It doesn't have any numbers on it. And I want to try out my pure glow together bronzer, this big daddy. I'm gonna try this shimmery side just because I want a little bit of sheen going on. Oh, that is, that is really pigmented. I'm going to bake with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and a damp beauty blender. 
I like to bake when I just do my bronzer. Like, I don't like to do blush and highlighter and then bake. I don't know why. This is just the way I like to do it. Okay, so I'm going to clean up my mess and I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes. Maybe think about doing something with my hair and I'll be right back. Okay, let's wipe away the bakage. I'm just going to use this little benefit brush. It's so cute. I always forget to use it because I have it sitting like apart from my brushes, but oh, it's so soft. So soft. Oh, I love this brush. It's like perfect for doing this too, wiping away the bake works really well and for blush I'm using like my obsession right now seriously you guys this is like my favorite thing this is benefit dandelion oh, oh. and it has this like sheen to it which is so pretty And for highlighter, oh goodness. So first off, I know that I want to try this Pure Minerals Moonlight Glow. This is the strobe highlight palette. I'm going to take this lightest shade, I think. Let's see. Yeah, and I'm just going to tap it. Just tapping it on. This has like a powdery finish. It doesn't feel greasy at all. And I really like that. For a highlighter, I'm using my little Tarte Skin Twinkle Palette, which is so cute. Um, I think I'm going to use this side. And my Anastasia A23 brush. Hmm. Holy shit. Oh, damn. We're going to have to blend that out because... I'm telling you guys, this palette is so freaking hardcore and I love it. I'm gonna blend this out. I'm just gonna take my um, beauty blender with a little bit of Fix Plus and I just like to go over it. It just kind of makes it like melt into your skin. I do want to just add a little bit just for fun. Um, I want to use one of these Love Lux Beauty ones. So I think I'm gonna try this one. It has this like pink, not pink, like a purpley like shift. It's really cool. It's called Next Level. So let's give it, let's give it a go. Same brush, Anastasia brush. Oh gosh, I might regret this. I never tried this one. Oh my God, look at that. Do you see that? It has this like lilac shift, which is really cool. I love these highlighters. Love them. And same thing, Beauty Blender, just tapping it out. Okay, for lips, I decided what I'm going to use. So I'm going to take my lip liner from ColourPop in Pony. It's just a pink shade. And we're going to line our lips. Then I'm going to take Stormy Pink from Revlon. I haven't worn this in so long. So we're going to put her on. This is a gorgeous pink. I'm going to take Hey Sailor from Tarte. And I'm just going to add a little bit of this just to brighten it up a little bit. I'm almost doing like an ombre. Okay, I just did that totally ass backwards, but hey, it worked. Um, setting spray, I'm gonna use my Gerard Slay All Day in Peach. So what do you guys think about this look? I like the mixture of Stormy Pink and Hey Sailor. I really... So what do you guys think about this look? I feel like these lashes are throwing me off. They are like super intense, but I don't know. It's a nice little change. What do you guys think? 
Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, I feel like I got to use a decent amount of new products. I probably will have to do like two more of these to get the majority of my new stuff used up. I mean, not used up, but tried on camera. So, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys again for watching. I love you all. Make sure you guys thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye. Chicken. A little chicken. A little chicken. Chicken head, maybe.